Need his bat here tonight for sure. They're going to need anybody's bat here tonight. And that one is hit well deep left field. And there she goes. Brandon Phillips with a bang. Puts Cincinnati on the board here tonight. That is exactly what the Reds needed. On the board early and with a long one at that to fire up that dugout. That ends the streak of 30 scoreless innings in this ballpark. And ends the streak of 27 straight hitters that did not get a hit against Roy Halladay. Well, and you know it has to set the Reds and their fans at ease here. Finally getting on the board. And now Brandon Phillips joins Duke Snyder of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Behind early, the Reds coming out banging tonight. Phillips with a home run to start it. As Phillips takes one on the inner half. Beautiful night, too, isn't it? About 70 degrees. Very little wind. Well, the Reds get the start they want with Brandon Phillips, and he rips that one into left center. That'll fall a base hit. So Brandon Phillips with two hits. And another pitch that had it the center of the plate. That was what was so remarkable about remarkable about Halliday's effort is how maybe one or two pitches found the center of the plate all night two nights ago. And the Reds are jumping on all these pitches that are catching the middle tonight. Into the clubhouse grabbing his left side. And Joe, that is an injury that he suffered earlier this year as Phillips goes down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's going to go down into the corner. And Brandon Phillips with his third hit tonight. It's a leadoff double for Cincinnati. Well, he wasn't kidding when he was talking about being ready for any mistakes Roy Oswalt might make. He came into the game, though, a 316 career hitter against Roy. <laughs> He is a triple away from the cycle right now. And you might have heard the announcement. He announced Orlando. Of course, on the uh, Cincinnati Reds who strike out a lot. Is that once you get ahead, they will expand the strike zone. So that's what Posey is trying to do with the help of Bochi there in the distance. And a breaking ball hit high in the air, deep left field. That ball's got some carry. And that ball is gone. Brandon Phillips with a two run home run and the Reds are on the board. A hanging breaking ball from Matt Cain and Phillips did not miss it. So not only have they bridged the gap with Sam LeCure but now they get big offense with Latos prepared to come into this game. No stride from Phillips. Stayed back beautifully. Just a matter of whether or not it was too high. And really, the 2012 campaign for Matt Cain against the Cincinnati Reds, he's just been giving up the home run ball. Fifth one this season. Second career postseason home run for Brandon Phillips. First one of the postseason back in 2010. And he just the third time he has pitched in relief. Once in the regular season back at 08, and in the postseason game six of the NLCS in 2010. As Phillips goes down the line, and extra bases for the Reds leadoff hitter, Brandon Phillips. But a two out double continues his hitting ways after three hits last night. A double against Lincecum and the Reds with a runner in scoring position and two away. Again, no stride. Kept his hands inside that baseball. Beautiful swing to pull it past Sandoval. And again, watch his hands work. In the barrel to the ball on a pitch inside and kept it fair. Not easy to do. Great shot there of Phillips clearing his hips to get to that baseball. Dusty Baker said he's a player that loves the spotlight. And the bigger the stage, the better he is. And he's getting a big stage here and producing. Sorry, Brian, you remember the first that that first pitch of the game by Bumgarner came in on Phillips and then proceeded to pop up. That is one part of the game plan. I'm sure that David Getty and Bruce Bochy are going to look at 
these Reds hitters have looked awfully comfortable up at the plate and some pitching inside is going to be needed in Cincinnati. And Phillips launches one into left field that is going to get down and one off the wall. In the score is Stubbs. Phillips with another extra base hit his second double and the beat goes on. For the Reds of the eighth. Where it's at. Nine to nothing in Cincinnati as Phillips drives in a run with a two bagger. Mistake up and they're just not missing anything. Gives Brandon Phillips four RBIs in the two games and two doubles tonight. Brandon Phillips. Series he is off to here as a start. Wilson Valdez will pinch hit. We'll hit for Zach Cozart. Dusty Baker maybe uh, giving it an opportunity to get some playing time here for some of his bench in a postseason game. Got to be the only reason to get the veteran Valdez in there. Cracked it down. Otherwise, we've got a tie game and another runner in scoring position for the Reds. Fell behind 2 0. Oh. Hamels has even the count at two balls, two strikes. And Phillips pulls that one. That's a base hit under the glove of Polanco. And there's the base runner the Red Legs have been looking for. Now Joey Votto will bat, representing the tying run. Good at bat by Brandon Phillips. He got a breaking ball that came to him and he pulled it hard past Polanco. See how long Charlie Manuel stays with Hamels. Phillips in San Francisco on Sunday had two doubles in his last two at bats. He drove in a run with his final double in the eighth inning. Madison Baumgartner, a short start in that one. Four and a third, gave up four earned runs in a blowout win for the Reds. Up the middle, and a base hit. Brandon Phillips just keeps on hitting. Number six of the series already, and a leadoff single for the Reds. Pretty good pitch, too. He just beat it in the ground, and it bounced high over the mound. Nobody in the middle infield could get to it. Again, things are going his way. Mike Leak and Deanna Navarro. A rocky start to this one. The Reds have gotten great pitching in this series so far. As Phillips goes to the open hole, Scudero dives, and the ball squirts free. Even if he comes up with a Cleanly, no way he's going to throw out Phillips, but a great effort by Scudero. It's a two out infield single for the Reds. Great range here by Scudero to knock this down, but he's not going to have a play, and this getting almost identical to what happened in the first inning. Zeno got the first two, then a base hit, and he ran into all kinds of control trouble. So here is Zach Cozart. Very proud of his guys to get to game five, but he said winning game three when you only have one hit going in the ninth inning, you still pull out a win. That's pretty good work. Brandon Phillips, two balls and a strike. And that one served in the right field, a base hit. Phillips with his second hit. Base runner for the Reds. No stride. Really crouched. It's the ball down in the strike zone that's going to give him problems. He likes the ball waist high and up. Phillips lines one to the right center. That is down. Over to cut it off is Pagan. One run is in Hannigan. Here comes Stubbs. He will score. delivers a pair. 6-2 Giants.
Maybe that hit by pitch did wake up the Cincinnati Reds. Well, you said it just a second ago, Ron, that the, each side has to have their best players step up. Brandon Phillips does right here. Tapping himself on the helmet as he's heading down the line. Fast runner at first. Stubbs comes around to score standing up on the double. What a big hit for the Red Legs. Brandon Phillips drives in two to put Cincinnati on the board against Matt Cain. Now a four-run ball game for the Giants. He doubles do you see not make it to the wall and a guy from first score. One of the fastest guys in the game. So Dave Gettier, quick visit to the mound with Kane. Now he's